I couldn't help but notice your pain. My pain? It runs deep. Share it with me. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We're playing the historical immersion project. And we are Langrave Rod Rodbot of Orgwa, I guess is how you say it. Um, that's what I'm sticking with. Of uh, the Habsburg dynasty. Um, and our objection is played through for one is to get um, the duchy that our province is part of. I don't know how you would say that. Retia, Raja, I don't know. But uh, we're going to try to get this first and foremost. Then we're going to slowly make our way east to um, try to get Austria and then the actual duchy of Austria. And, I mean, we want to... Uh, eventually become the Emperor of Holy Roman Empire. Um, I don't know if you can, um, I guess maybe keep that elective, but I would like to, um, because you can have, ki you can have kingdoms, uh, in the Holy Roman Empire. I mean, for the most part, the only one that really was, uh, was Bohemia, and, uh, they're not right now, but we become the Duchy of Austria. Somehow we... Uh, somebody left a comment in the uh, last video, which I was pretty much thinking of myself, but I didn't know if it was maybe uh, even able to happen. I know in the rules I set to where only the main empires that start out, like the Holy Roman Empire, Byzantines, Arabian, and Persian, uh, are the ones with the jour land, where I think you could still form titular uh, empires, and then I guess eventually... Uh, the land can come du jour of that, I guess, under 100 years. But hopefully some way we can incorporate Hungary into our Austro-Hungarian Empire would be pretty neat. So I'm trying to want to keep it as historical as possible with the Habsburgs. And that, yes, too, includes the inbreeding. We're going to have a lot of uh, dim, wry-mouthed Habsburgs here. <laughs> right now, we really don't have much of a choice because we don't have that big of a family and it's mostly men. So we'll get around to that as we get more kids in the family now um i think who is it her no she's 17 i think it's my brother's wife yeah she needs a guardian she's marshall so it's going i guess we could we're probably the best one well this guy is but his uh learning is a little lower than ours i mean she doesn't really need to be a brilliant uh strategy unless she's gonna be leading troops or anything so I guess we'll take care of it ourselves. Um, she's just our daughter-in-law, or no, sister-in-law. Um, and I also was looking, before I started, at we have a lot of relations with these other landed characters that we can get alliances out of. Because right now, if you look at, say, like the one we have a claim on already, the only one that really wants to help us is Lorraine. And he's 72, so we need to keep track of him dying because his son is going to take over. We're going to have to get an alliance with him. But right now, since we're so weak... We need to get as much as we can with the people we can. So this guy's our brother-in-law. He's a priest, but I mean, he at least has a couple hundred troops. And then we have these Croatian guys who are actually in the same family as the king of Croatia. Thing is, even though we have these alliances, probably one of them will actually help us in our time in need. I mean, if we're the aggressor, uh, I just don't see too many of them helping us. Uh, defense is a different story because they call them and they don't then they look like alliance breakers but we'll, we'll see what happens also my grandson here is 10 uh, he's not of the same house as us but I can get an alliance out of him too so I think the best duchy I've seen around that wasn't in the empire that had a decent amount of men uh, was Barcelona here he's in war right now to make this guy a uh, tributary but he's got banjo over that guy so he should be able to pull it off so, he has a sister that is seven, so we're going to betroth uh, Sibylla to Ulrich here, and at least try to get an alliance out of him. Since he's a little lower, he might actually help us. Um, we also want to join the Benedictine Order, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So that way we can get, the. Uh, you. it's basically a, a free way of getting uh, the seven virtues traits, like patient, diligent, uh charitable all that jazz so it it, it it helps you now we also get extra stewardship after we get past the first rank i would love to get to the third one to be able to teach virtue to the kids but um i don't know if we'll get there we're, we're 55 already but at least now you know it'd be a way for us to try to get some piety 
and uh, extra stewardship until we do die. So it's gonna cost us 10 gold, so we'll go ahead and just do that. Bam. Um, so we're gonna unpause and just let, we have to let time go by, because we have to let, wait for a hundred piety in order to, uh, do ducal conquests on these guys, or a claim to come through. Now, I think I'm gonna go out to this guy first with the ducal claim, just because he has a, he's a little bit more on our level manpower-wise. Uh, he, see right now it's saying Lorraine will help us, so hopefully we get to a hundred sooner rather than later uh this other guy has a better province but he has a little bit more men than we do and even if we knock out these men first when these guys come down and they come out of retreat it'll be uh a little harder to deal with him because he's gonna go try to siege down our land and he's automatically gonna have an advantage with the hills now this guy's in the mountains and his second province is a lot closer, but I don't think he can come across this lake here. So he's going to at least go through two provinces either way. He looks at it this way. Actually, be three. So hopefully he can't just come over the lake. I guess we'll find out. Uh, four lines with him. Four lines with him. Hopefully one of them will help us by the time we go to war. I don't know. Uh, all right, so he accepts. He probably, uh, I didn't think he probably would right away. He doesn't have that high of an opinion with us. So we'll go ahead and start swaying him. Uh, form lines with him. So I see these guys aren't going to help us anyways. It's just, <laughs> hopefully down the line, maybe one will. My mother-in-law died. <clears throat> okay. Hopefully he stays alive a little longer. So that way, by the time we're ready to do one of these wars... He'll be of some help. One of them will, at least. Um, hopefully, we're not waiting too long. I hope we get some kind of event that gives us a little piety. Alright. So, let me see if he'll let me help him in his war. Alright, uh, we approach that Sigmund become guardian and mentor of Little Werner. <laughs> little Werner. This guy sucks. He's about to be... Oh my god. Hopefully this doesn't screw it. Because if I say no, he's going to get pissed. I'll just let it go. His traits... I mean, he's got decent traits, but his freaking numbers are kind of bleh. I was hoping maybe he'd get gray eminence. But, whatever. There's still a chance. Alright. Uh, while passing judgment onto criminals from the safety of your throne, a long, young noble is brought before you. You quickly come to the conclusion that the man is indeed guilty. Condemning him might not be the wisest choice as he have no, is of noble birth. If you were to pardon the man, he might prove himself useful to you, as would be in your debt. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that just because he's noble. And usually these guys suck. Every time you try to say, oh, maybe he's good, I've never had one where they're good. Their stats are completely trash. They're like in the single digits. <clears throat> it's never, ever once worked out. Alright, so he accepted, so we got a little bit of, uh, opinion boost out of him. I know if we turn down him taking our ward, or a ward for him, he, he gets negative, but by letting him do it, you get no positive, which I don't understand. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully, uh, he didn't like it, I guess. Is this guy dead yet? No, he's still kicking. Oh, she still came out brilliant. That's good. Let's see, what do we have here? Uh, it's our daughter. Let me guess, he wants to look after her. No, he wants Ulrich. Um, I'm not, I don't really care so much about Ulrich. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, take him. Uh, let me see. This is our daughter. So, you are pretty good at learning. Let's go at learning. I'll probably just let the tutor keep taking uh, care of her, yeah. Uh, my former ward, Princess Gertruda, has finished her education in our final discussion. We talked about following the rule of St. Benedict and trying to improve oneself in the eyes of God. I have tried to encourage her to do this for herself, and she has attempted to take my advice. I wonder if she has made any progress, so I guess we will see. <laughs> Alright, I'm paused. Nice. So we got ten piety, so we're going to be two away now. Um, Gertruda came and told me all about how she strived to follow the rule of St. Benedict and become a better woman. She talks vigorously of all her prayers and time spent doing penance and her stride to become to come closer to God. 
She seems to have made great success, so she's got rid of en Envious, and we gained 10 Piety. So we're almost there. We also have to pay, I think, 40 gold uh, in order to do this war. So now we can actually do the war. Lorraine will help us, so that's good. Um, hmm. I'm wondering if we should go after him or this guy. If we go after uh, him, let me see. Will he still help? Yes. So we go after him. We take his guys out here, and then uh, these guys will still have to make their way down. This is a better province, and then this will actually get us to touch with two instead of one, because we'll touch Chur and this one. That way we could do Ducal on them without the claim. Hmm. And then Lorraine is gonna help. So. And even if they get in a war and he dies, it ain't like they'll drop out of the war because they're already in it. So I think we're just going to go against him instead of the other guy. Um, he's leading troops. He's a count or a commander for the throne. So we'll go ahead and just do this one. Uh, hopefully. What the hell? Uh, he wants to too, apparently. So that's good. Do that one. Please, I hope they help. I mean, it says maybe, so it's not a guarantee either. Uh, I'll raise these guys up. We have almost a thousand troops. Not quite. Uh, we need to lead. So, let's get these guys going over here. Alright, he's got 400. Come on, please help me. Alright, thank God. Alright. Um... We're going to have him join our army, hopefully, after he gets them all together. And now this time, if I take this, I could sit here and wait, maybe take that. Alright, he honored it too, so that's good. Alright, let's, we have to wait until we come out of combat. Alright, so let's go ahead and have him join us too. He's only got one set of men to come. Well, he shouldn't have... Yeah, he probably wouldn't. How would he be in it if... Yeah, he's under this guy. Hmm. So, we can sit here and take this while we're waiting for these guys to come. And then, uh... Alright, he had a son, so we had a left-handed Habsburg. Alright, um... I usually always go with duty, I don't know why. I mean, it's just... It's one of the safest ones because... You get conscientious. You can get other traits, of course, but... It's one of those ones where you really there's no negative in it. I mean, Thrift uh, has a great chance of getting shrewd. And, like, Cynical is not that bad. I mean, it does take away Piety. Um, but the Fussy one is another one where it's really not that bad. I mean, Paranoid gives you a couple of vents here and there. But I just always usually go with Duty. Unless they come out, like, strong or some kind of, uh, like, martial advantage trait, then I usually go with Struggle. But we're gonna just go with the duty on this kid. Um, Uto. <laughs> I don't really like that. Um, what's up with all these names? Bertolt. Alright, I guess that's better. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna sit here and wait for these guys to come. Hopefully they're actually coming and not just... Alright, there he is. Took him a while to raise those men. Oh my god, I forgot to... Oh, I forgot to move the guy. <laughs> Oh my god. Of course, as soon as we do that, we get that one. We wouldn't have the money anyways. Um, Let's, uh, I mean, we could have made a, what you call it, uh, a, uh, learn. Let's move him over. Damn it. That was such a waste. Alright. Hopefully we get him this guy. I'd rather just take the ducal ones than them. Uh, these guys, why'd they go that way? Usually they go up towards the other province you have. Alright, please don't run into them. I right, thank God. Fucking idiots. When they get here, we'll take this, and then we will take all the men. Why are you not coming? Just go around. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Alright. Period war to make whatever has ended. Um, He's coming down. So we've taken the first holding, so... 
We're gonna, when he gets here, we're gonna go right for that one because I don't want him to deplete my garrison. We should be okay with all those men. I mean, he does have a little bit of an advantage, but... Uh, who is this? The King of Croatia is being attacked by Hungary. Yikes. Uh, he should be alright still, but yeah, we have no real choice. <laughs> alright, thank God we got those guys to join us because I think if it was just my men by the time I was really odd that he went that way because a lot of times they'll get towards if they have another province they'll get towards that I mean he wouldn't have to go all the way but it would have been a lot better for him if it wasn't for the numerical advantage to went that way and then came back and meet these guys coming this way but he went way off to the right for some odd reason all right we're gonna go back there Take that holding. He doesn't have enough now to siege my holding. I mean, I, I guess he could take the money from it. While attending prayer early one morning, or one early morning, I noticed my brother Isolf drowsing off in his seat. Meanwhile, our fellow members of the Benedictine Order are deep in their contemplation and do not seem to have noticed yet. Of course, we'll wake him up. Think nothing of it. Uh, we should be close to the end of this. Bringing the true faith and salvation to others is amongst the holiest of duties. Therefore, we ask of you to construct a new church, Jesus, in your land so your subjects may have somewhere to say prayers and worship. You know how hard that's going to be? We don't make any money. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn that down. I mean, we won't get some for some time, but, man, what the hell. I'll never get through that, uh, that duty. Never. <laughs> Just because of the fact that we will never make that much money at one time. I'm surprised we have the money we have right now. I think we got a little from sieging this down, but... Widespread well, rumors say that Pope Benedict this, the Ninth leads a most wicked lifestyle, quite unsuitable for any priest, even more so for one in his exalted position. He must pray for his soul. Hurry up, we're almost done here. So, there we go. We can go ahead and end this war. Boom. So, we've accomplished our thing to increase our size, which is nice. Let's go ahead and uh, drop these guys now. And we've got our ambition there. So, I think the next thing would be to go for becoming a duke. Uh, we get one more uh, province we'll have over the 51% that we need to do it. We'll just need the money after that. Uh, I think it's like 100 and some change. Let me see. 197, Jesus Christ. It takes us forever just to get 50. <laughs> Hopefully, this will give us a little more income. I mean, not right away, because, of course, we're going to have... Oh, uh, we don't have the, uh... The, uh, what you call it? The negative for just conquering this? Hmm. Cost of war, minus 75%. Hmm. Let me see something. Uh, damn it. This one has cost of war. I guess just during war. I'm, it should maybe it'll go away. No, it's still there. All right, let's go ahead and um. I guess become Duke. I'm trying to think. Is there anything else we need to do? Uh, green your air. We already have. I don't think you can do it after 16. But this is weird. Will it, like, automatically succeed? Well, that'd be great if I knew that. Then I could just get the stewardship for nothing, but I don't want to risk it. Increase size. I mean, either way we look at it. So, if we do increase size again, it's only going to give us 25 prestige. But we'll increase our size by taking in the next county we need for the dukedom anyways. E each one of them are both prestige, so we might as well just go for that again. We're definitely not trying to get independence. <laughs> uh, a thousand to be pretty much exalted amongst men will give us extra diplomacy and prestige. Uh, we need a thousand. We're not even halfway there. And piety, we're nowhere close. We have to use the piety for ducal things. So we'll just increase it again. And then after we do that, we can hurt and do this. And then our, this one. And make our dukedom and then get that too. So we really don't get anything from it. Like, 25 prestige is nothing. Alright, so now we got this. Who's our other, uh... Vassals we have now? He's a powerful vassal and doesn't like us much. Hmm. I wonder if I... 
should give him that over my kid. I mean, he's gonna be a little mad, but he's you know he's getting ready to take over soon. This guy is okay at chaplain, and he is gonna be he is a powerful vassal. Because I don't think we're gonna get his men right now because of him being negative. Where's he at? This is him, right? No, this is him. Hmm. I don't know. We'll sit here and see for a second. Yeah, it's looking like he's they're not gonna give us anything. Just him because of uh he doesn't have any troops because we took them all out. Duchess Beatrice of Lorraine is giving birth to a stillborn little son. Alright, he just took over, so let's get that. She's of the Savoy house, I guess. Yeah. I want to try to keep a relationship with them since they're in our same, uh, we're in the same, what you call it, and they're close enough to us. They seem to be the only one that wanted to help us. It feels like everyone is trying to trump me. My huntsmen killed more prey than I. My counselors found better solution to the re rebellious peasants than mine. I started to feel that everyone was better than me no matter what. Alright, uh, I'd definitely rather have kind. So we got kind. Takes down your, uh, personal combat, but... Oh well. We're old age anyways. Gave us some extra, uh, diplomacy. See, a lot of these traits, too, will give you negatives. But some of them do anyways. Oh, we got respected commander. So it's tier 1 out of 4. It's been a while since I've played this. I forget all about these other traits. My young wife's taken a passion for romantic poetry. She keeps reading any sort of romantic poetry she can get her hands on. Um, I really don't want the lustful trait because I don't want my piety being taken away. I guess we'll go with this. We don't really need any more kids ourselves. Uh, let me see. Where, how's our sons doing? Alright, she's pregnant. Um, he already had one. And hopefully she's not pregnant. I can't believe she has an 11-year-old son. It doesn't make any sense. Let's see, how is her, uh, brother? He still doesn't want one with us. We need to try to sway him. It'd be great to get his men, but, like I said, it's not guaranteed to even help us. Looks like he might be losing. No, nah, he's got more. Yeah, not by much. Oh, no, that guy is actually winning. Um, yeah, let's talk strategy. We're both martial guys. Who's this? Ulrich. So, what are you good at, Ulrich? Looks like stewardship is your forte. Now, if we were to do this, Sigismund. Which one is that guy? Hold on. Him. So, it won't go against him, would it? He is at war to revolt. So who's revolting against him? Rustico. <laughs> With no men. Let's see. I don't think it stacks. But we'll offer to join him anyways. Because <laughs> he'll probably be done this like no time whatsoever. Alright. I think I'm going to try to... Because I think it's going to be a minus 10 against him too. To be honest with you. If it was just the one guy, like, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. We'll see. Uh, my dissertation on military matters was very appreciated, it seems. Count Ramon thanked me for sharing my knowledge with him and remarking that he will treasure what he has learned from me. So we got plus 10. I know it's not going to be enough. We need two more uh, points. All right, he oh, it did stack. All right, so let's just try to take him back then. Let me see, because he's not him. The hell is he? Alright. He looks like he's gonna be a, might be a decent uh steward. Um Ooh. That's our wife. Um other than stubborn, I mean she's pretty good, but our son's a little better. I mean she does have temperate and diligence, so I guess we'll let him do it. Hopefully it doesn't piss uh him off. <laughs> I think he did a little. Oh well. <laughs> He's got to deal with it. Alright. No, I'm not gonna give up. Oh. 
25 prestige. I mean, we don't really need the prestige for anything right now. And we're getting too old. We're getting old to where that prestige really isn't going to benefit us anyway. Um, so this guy here. He is 632. Yeah, we can pretty much take these two guys out and no problem. I think he'll be the, the, the bigger uh, thing. Especially if we don't have anybody helping us. Just because he's got this mountain terrain. I would actually like... See, ours is better, though. It'd be great if we had the mountain uh, province as our capital. This guy's cap... This one's probably the better one out of the whole duchy. It's the one with the most holdings. I wonder, maybe... 12, 12, 12. They're all the same tech, pretty much. I think this one would be better, probably, to hold... Just because it's in the mountains, it'd be so much better than when it comes to defense. We'll just ass fuck it. 25 prestige, you can get in one shot sometimes. Uh, Count Ramon is more than happy to talk to me about his struggles and aspirations. In fact, seems to have questions for me as well. So, was that enough? Yes, it is. Alright. Right now, though, he's really getting it in that war. Um, he lost a lot of men. Oh my god. Yeah, it looks like he might lose. <laughs> so, we're going to just wait, I guess. See what happens. I mean, he's not going to lose any territory. He's just going to have to... He's going to have a huge debt prior to pay him. So, now we have these holdings. I think, uh... My son will get... Um, the capital and the... I was hoping he'd get the capital and, um... What the hell is it called? Castle Habsburg or whatever. Or the other one, yeah. So he'll get Lensburg. Otto will get Lensburg. And that one. And then he'll get... The other one will get that. Oh, hold on. Looks like he's gonna get all of it. No, there it is right there. Er, it's a Thurgal. Thurgal, whatever the hell it's called. And he'll get the two main holdings. That's good, alright. I'd rather him have the two and the one than having that main one and then that one. Because we're able to get the modifiers of like tax on both of them by having the guy there collecting. Um, Count Everhard <laughs> has been very insistent on spending some time with me recently. He hopes that we will be better term if only we take a few days to know each other better. Who's, what are you? Why do you want to spend time with me? <laughs> He's absent-minded. Alright, um, sounds like a marvelous idea. So we'll go on a journey, I guess. I think if you become friends with him, you can ally him, but I don't see... Well, he's pretty close to us. Maybe he's afraid we're going to take his land. <laughs> Count Everhard has prepared a grandiose welcoming parade for my arrival, and the Count of Nullenberg greets me in person as soon as I cross the gates of his palace, asking me if I had a good travel. Yeah, sure. Um, I really want to take advantage of this guy. I hope he gets into, like, a war. Something. Or we're able to utilize Lorraine like we did. Because we have a claim on that title. I mean, it's not in our duchy, but I would like to have it back if we have a claim on it. Thing is, this claim will pass down. So, because I think it's, a, it's one of our family claims or whatever. Yeah. Because I guess our pops held it first. This one's a better uh, holding, but why not have it if we can get it? Alright. During my visit, Rar guided me through uh, throughout his demands. We explored the countryside and some of the most breathtaking sights that Nullenberg can offer. I undoubtedly felt welcomed by my host attitude. So, I don't know why he's like... Uh, trying to butter me up. Let me see something. We probably are not getting any money from him. Yeah. It'd probably be more beneficial to let him have... Hold on. Just let him be the, uh, Chancellor. Hmm. You know what I'm going to... You can, uh, I guess I'll just let you hunt 
apostates. We get piety out of it. So I didn't even think about that. We get an extra point three nine. I should have been doing that from the jump. Damn it. Alright, so my son had a son. He's perceptive, but delicate. And he's attractive. Hmm. Perceptive's not bad. I mean, he's sickly, though. Hopefully he doesn't die on top of being delicate. Yeah, he's... Oh, man. I guess he can name him that. I mean, he's probably gonna die. <laughs> Pope Benedict XI has been very insistent on about spending time with me recently. He hopes that it would be a better term if only we take a few days to know each other. Why is he trying to sway me? <laughs> the Pope is trying to sway me. Maybe he sees great things to come for the wry mouth Habsburgs. Alright, um... Pope Benedictus is prepared to grant us... Well, we already know. We just read that from the other guy. I want to keep doing it. You need to save my grandchild. I mean, other than being delicate, he's got perceptive and attractive. So hopefully, turns out okay. He's going to be a future heir one day. Uh, definitely have to give him duty. <laughs> Alright, um, Benedict has hosted us for nearly a week, entertaining me with stories about recent deeds and organizing a few luxurious feasts in my honor. I never realized Benedictus had such, and I had such in common. Neither did I. <laughs> Let's see something. The hell's he, uh, damn, he really likes us. Can we get any claims out of him? No. <laughs> Don't even think about asking. Uh... Now, see, this guy should have better, yeah, because like, he's a wicked priest, I think, so. Now, all we need to do is make him happy. So, I'm thinking about maybe just take switching him out. I mean, my son, they're about the same. Yeah, we'll just switch him out. He's going to end up being when the son takes over anyways. Might as well start now. All right. Pretty sure he probably got pissed at that, but he doesn't hate me. Alright, let's see. Um, You're not having any kids. You just had one, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> My brother hasn't had any yet with his Polish wife. She has actually a weak claim on the Kingdom of Poland, but we are not in any position right now to even bat them anything like that. Hopefully... Well, their son should, or no. Damn, he doesn't have a kid. He needs to have a kid before he does. They're about the same age. He's barely a year. I'm barely a year older than him. That other war is almost over. They're getting beat by Hungary. Alright, now France is at war. France wants to make Brittany a tributary, which they should have no problem with. Alright. It sucks because we can't even help really because if we raise our men, if I was to raise my men and go into France, somebody definitely would attack me. One of these other guys here. I'm hoping we get uh, up to 100 again by some kind of events. We're getting three a month, so it's not that bad. I'm hoping we get some kind of events that give us, let's put him in special interest. Do we have the... We don't have him, do we? No. Nope. Let's put him, too. Alright. The Hungarian-Croatian de jour war has ended. Croatia has lost. <laughs> Alright. So, I guess we'll go ahead and stop here. Um, While wow, our other men are already starting to build up, it seems. A garrison's almost full. We got, like, 22 more men. And then this will start filling back up. Our other one here is back to around where it was in the beginning. A little better. So if we get those filled up all the way. We have like four, or almost, we'll have like 1,500 men out of those two. And then when this finally does, we have almost around 2,000. We're over 1,000 right now, so we're, we're doing good for starting off with a little lonely count. The only thing that sucks when he dies, uh, this is going to become the uh, second son but he'll still be under him so whatever the only thing is they, oh man I forgot to see what he alright he became charismatic negotiator I mean worse comes to worse we can use him as a uh, what you call it but it just sucks because we're gonna have to 
I really don't want to not use this guy because of his claim ability. So we'll see what happens. But until then, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.